Today I'm going to show you a full face of new makeup launches and see how they wear through the day. If you're looking for more technique focused videos that you can use with whatever you already have in your makeup bag, I've got a playlist called At Home Beauty School and that's really all about kind of how to place things and how to shape things with whatever you already have. As always, everything I've used in the video is listed in the description. I'm having a bit of an admin day today and I've got Zooms and things so it's the perfect day to kind of try some new things and I'm only at home so worst case scenario if they're not for me it's not like I'm doing a big presentation or something so I'm going to start with this Tatcha the liquid silk canvas primer now to be honest with you um most of the time I always say that a lot of what you're trying to achieve from your primer in terms of getting a really flawless makeup or getting your makeup to last all day can often be achieved with the right skincare prep. So let's say, for example, my skin's quite dry. Rather than going in with a primer to make it look and feel a bit more even, the best thing for me to get a more even makeup application is to use a really rich moisturiser. However, all of that said, I feel like these Tatcha primers, I see them on TikTok, I see them on Instagram, there is definitely a lot of love for them. Um, it feels really kind of velvety. I'd be really interested to try this on more of an oily skin type actually in my kit. Um, but yeah, I'll try a few new things now and let you know how they wear through the day. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you, I've already worn this for a few days actually, and I'm in between tan days, so hopefully this will still be a colour match, but we'll see, is this BB Cover Age Perfect BB Cream from L'Oreal Paris. Um, when this first launched, a lot of people said to me, oh my gosh, is this going to be like the CC cream, meaning the It Cosmetics CC cream. But to be honest with you, this is really quite velvety in finish. So if you've seen this and you're thinking of trying it I would tell you that if you're used to the CC cream the finish is going to be quite different I'll do half and half to show you and can I just say as well I've got the windows open and uh, there's all kinds of <laughs> work going on but it's absolutely melting so I'm going to try and talk in between the drilling and we can see how all of this pans out now as you can see it's actually a great coverage I would say with this, um, it's difficult to tell and I'm doing this a little bit um, later in the day so it's a bit darker. It's not as much coverage as a full coverage but it's a great medium coverage I would say to you. Um, really, really lovely if you want something lightweight to even out the general skin tone and I would also say as well that it's not terribly heavy. You don't feel like you've got an awful lot on. But there's a bit of a half and half for you. That was the shade Light Ivory 01, and I'll do the other side. And something actually I will say is that I have been using that just on freshly moisturised skin, and I think the primer has made a difference in terms of how evenly that goes on. Um, so definitely would recommend prepping with a primer if you've got one. One thing I would also say that I can never get across in a video is that I use a really light touch when I apply foundation. That's for me personally because I've got a lot of redness. My aim is to press the product onto the skin and not move it around too much because the firmer you press, the more you're going to move that product around. God knows what that is instead of setting it into place. So if you are watching this and you need more coverage, the key is using a really, really soft touch. Okay, because that has quite a velvety finish, I'm not gonna powder it just yet. I'll leave it as it is and I'll see if it needs powder in a little bit. And I'm gonna move on to now the Pixi On The Glow bronzer sticks. Now you may have seen the Pixi blusher sticks that come in this format. They're a really lovely juicy cream blush. They look absolutely kind of like a second skin, but give you a flush of pink or rose or peach, whatever you've gone for. But the bronzers, again, this is the second one actually that I have used already, but I don't like to just say something's great when I've used it once. I like to give it a proper thorough road test. In particular, if I'm trying things for the likes of my Eliza column, I want to make sure that if someone ends up getting it, that I haven't just haphazardly said, yeah, that's great. 
but I wore this the other day and it's really lovely for a very glowy bronze. Um, I'm going to start applying it with a little brush here and stipple it on that way. Um, one of the things I would say about Pixie as a brand is that they really are such an authority on skin glow. Um, they have really, really lovely skincare. I really recommend the skincare actually. And I always think with Pixie, that's the kind of brand that is constantly in my kit. But because I've got rosacea and I'm on like a dermatologist prescribed routine, which is actually quite simple. Um, I probably don't mention Pixie as much as I hold them in the high esteem, but it's just because my routine is quite small and I use prescription creams um, to manage my rosacea as well. But if that's not a concern for you, I would really recommend just exploring lots of their products. Um, speaking of glow, they are home to the... I mean, I think the word iconic is fair to use for glow tonic. That was the exfoliating kind of treatment, if you like, that I think really catapulted this interest in people using toners and tonics that gently exfoliate the skin. Of course, there were lots of people making them, but I feel like the impact of Glow Tonic really brought that to such a wider audience and uh, made everyone really see the difference of when you just slot in that extra exfoliation. Um, speaking of Glow Tonic, actually, someone said to me recently, she talked me through her routine and said, I'm using, you know, moisturiser, a great cleanser, a vitamin C. I use my SPF every day. She basically had this amazing routine and she said, but my foundation still feels dry. And um, I asked a friend of mine, because as far as I could see from the outside looking in, she was doing everything really right. And my friend said, even if your routine is perfect, just adding in a little exfoliation every so often to shift those dead skin cells just takes you back to the beginning again and gets everything looking and feeling really fresh. So if you find that you're in a bit of a rut with your routine, again, permitting that it's safe to do so, because obviously if you've got sensitive skin or things like that, it might not always be possible to exfoliate. But if you can, um, that might be the thing that makes kind of the oldest things in your makeup bag look and work like they're brand new again. I feel quite hairy this afternoon. I've just blow dried my hair. I don't always blow dry it. Um, so I do feel like it's everywhere. If it's distracting you as much as me, I can only apologise. Okay, this is a very first wear. This is the Too Faced Brow Wig, which promises me brush on hair, fluffy brow gel. Well, that sounds good enough to me. It's one of these that has the little fibres in it. Um, to really fill out the brows. Now these are really good if you um, if you've got a lot of baby hair that's lighter in colour. You can really really pad your eyebrows out with something like this. I remember when I worked at Selfridges, we used to have Blink Brow Bar, and sometimes I'd go and get my eyebrows done after work, and the girls would always dye every bit of the hair around your brows so that they had loads to work with when it came to shaping them afterwards. And you don't realise sometimes you can feel like you've overplucked or your brows are maybe a little bit thinner than usual. We've all been there, haven't we, when we've gone mad with the tweezers. But sometimes something like this that has the fibres built into it can just make all the difference to making them feel nice and full again. Too Faced have a really lovely um, trainer called Heather. And Heather's just one of these that like always looks a million dollars. I've never seen her with a hair out of place. And I said to her recently, like, whatever is on your face, that's what I'm interested in. And this was one of the things she recommended to me. Um, but I've linked her page in the past. I'll put her in the comments again. She does lots of lovely quick tutorials and things like that. She's really good as well for kind of showing you different colour combinations. Um, but I'll put her details in the caption of the video so you can see her. Next up, we have an example of when strange names happen to good beauty products. Bare Minerals Blonzer. Um, I think these are lovely, really lovely luminous cheek colour. Personally, I'm not seeing what the bronze element is to these. I've got a few shades and I definitely want to try them on different skin tones and things. But for me, I just feel like they're really pretty blushes. 
Um, I'm a little bit disappointed because the idea of this blush bronze hybrid was sounding really good to me. However, as a cheek product that we're not expecting the world from, I think they're absolutely lovely. If you could see this in the natural light, it is a little bit darker today. I actually absolutely love that. I'll show that to you in another video when it's a bit brighter. Um, but yeah, do you see what I mean? I can't say I feel bronzed, but what a lovely pickup it's given the complexion. Now, let me just do a little tidy up there. Um, the one thing that's really struck me is that volume wise, that is instantly like you're not going to be messing around doing millions of coats for your volume. You're straight in there. That is lovely. And then finally, do you know what? Can I just say, like, I know every celebrity and their wife is bringing out a brand at the moment. I feel like that is a separate video in itself. But REM Beauty Ariana's is one of the ones that I think actually will stand the test of time as its own brand. Um, Ariana and Selena Gomez with the Rare Beauty are definitely the front runners for me. Um, but actually, like Ariana's, I just feel like it's coming in these drops. So I wouldn't say necessarily that you'll go over right away and have exactly, it's not like going to MAC where you've got every single colour, but if you're open to just like a few little colour combinations and seeing what they've got per drop, it's really lovely. Um, but I haven't used any of these lips. I have a series here of uh, glosses, lipsticks, liners, so let's have a little play. Okay, let's start with lip liner in lyrics. Now then, let's have a little look in here. Um, that is actually a lovely applicator. I love when you have a tiny lip applicator because some of them are so naturally large that they're bigger than your lips, especially like I've got a much thinner upper lip and you can make mistakes just because of the size of the applicator. So that is really good. Will I use that one? No, let's, let's push the boat out. Let's go for something a bit deeper. This is the shade... Cuddly, fantastic. Now, you can see where I need to tidy these outer edges. So let me go back in with the liner. Is that a completely different? <laughs> That's a completely different liner now. Is it? Yeah. So we topped up with shade reverse and we now need to clean up as a matter of urgency. I'm going to use some of the same BB cream and a little domed brush. And let's just trace the edges here and see if we can make this look a bit neater. How much tidy does that look? Oh. <laughs> I feel like um, Sarah Michelle Geller in Cruel Intentions. Right then, I'm gonna wear that for the day and then I will let you know in future how they wear, what everything feels like. Um, if there's anything in particular that you've seen recently that you want to see in a video or you're curious about, let me know and I can definitely look to work it in. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll chat to you soon. Take care.